Grand Duke. The 70 Viking enclosed bridge, built in 2015 and completely customized by her owner with one purpose, to travel the world. I'm Alex Clark from Denison Yachting, standing in the main salon on this immaculate Viking here in Capos, Costa Rica. Grand Duke was specifically customized by her owner to serve as a shadow boat to his 58 meter fed ship. In order to reach the remote areas of the world, she was outfitted with options that you're not gonna find on your average Viking. One feature that really makes Grand Duke stand out is her majestic blue hull color and vivid red boot stripe, both painted in Allcraft 2000. We're gonna to start today here in the cockpit. Beneath the teak sole, you're gonna have two large fish boxes, both with macerator pumps, direct access to your Seakeeper gyro stabilizer, and above that, this impressive release fighting chair. Stepping up to the mezzanine, you have seating for four. Above you, you've got air conditioning vents, and beneath the teak sole, you have refrigeration and freezer space. Before stepping into the salon, why don't we go and check out the engine room. Here's where you find your twin MTU 16V 2000 series M94 engines, 2600 horsepower each with only 1800 hours. Now it's important for me to point out that the majority of these hours were done at a low rate of speed. That translates into less stress on the vessel. With a push of a button, you enter the main salon. Immediately to port, you have your day head. And to starboard, you have your L-shaped settee that has custom storage beneath it for rods and tackle. We all know that Viking's a world leader in producing sport fish boats, but standing here in the main salon, it's obvious there's a lot of yacht quality finishes throughout. Some of the details that you'll notice in the high gloss teak interior are inlaid burl in all of the tables, both in the main salon and in the sky lounge, and detailed joinery throughout. The highlight of the main salon is the galley island with three bar stools to port your pop-up TV, and then you have direct access to the sky lounge. This galley is a great place for guests to gather, swap fishing stories, cook a good meal, or just relax after a long day on the water. Cold storage is never an issue with these six Sub-Zero refrigeration and freezer drawers. You also have your Fisher and Paykel glass stovetop and dishwasher, as well as trash compactor. Opposite the galley to starboard is your built-in settee that comfortably seats five guests. Just forward of the galley, where you would typically find your doghouse, the owner has converted this space into custom storage for rods and reels. Grand Duke features four ensuite cabins, sleeping up to eight guests and crew. What I love about the layout is that the aftmost cabin, which doubles as the crew accommodations, gives you direct access to the engine room, and this is something you're not gonna find on a lot of sport fish boats. Moving forward down the companionway to port, you step into your master cabin. A common theme that you're gonna see throughout the guest accommodations is the large amount of storage. For example, here in the master cabin, to both port and starboard of the centerline queen berth, you're gonna have his and hers hanging cedar line closets. Just outside of the master cabin, you have full-size stackable washer and dryer. You have the smallest of the four cabins, which is a nice bunk room, again with ensuite. Finally, all the way forward is your VIP. To me, my favorite place on board is the Sky Lounge. 
This Sky Lounge is a more intimate version of the main salon. You have your built-in settee, flat screen TV, two sub-zero refrigerator drawers, and of course your main helm station. A key feature of the enclosed bridge is that it allows the captain to navigate in any weather condition. You've got two settees, one to port, one to starboard, both sitting three guests. You have your three touchscreen monitors, all of your controls easily accessible in front of you, and great visibility when underway. You got your radar, zoom in, so nice. zoom out, um, all, all your gain adjustments up here, very, very easy to use. Go into your camera system um, so you can get your clear night vision camera up on here. It's got an inbuilt alarm system so I can watch um, all my bilges, high water alarms. So if I see something flash on, I know that there's yep. a, um, yeah, an Mike. issue I need to tend to. Here on the aft deck, you have a full helm to port, great for docking. Opposite that to starboard, you have a settee, which is the best vantage point for watching the action in the cockpit. Combine her tall bridge clearance with a custom Palm Beach tuna tower on top of that, rup outriggers, and you have that wow factor. Located in the helm station at the top of the tower, you're going to have your Garmin monitor, Simrad autopilot, ICOM, VHF, bow thruster controls, and gauges. Forward on the bow, a key safety feature is the half rail, and then you have your Pullman anchor with 300 feet of chain. So we um, installed a very serious anchoring um, arrangement up on this boat, um, mainly because of our cruising aspect of our boat's operation. Peace of mind, it's a full heavy anchor, it's not a lightweight aluminum anchor. Um, so I, I drop that down and you know, you can, you can rest, yep, you can rest easy. I'm Alex Clark from Denison Yachting, and I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me on board. If you'd like to receive full technical specifications or a brochure, feel free to contact me at any time. <laughs>